Alright class, today we are going to talk about the dinosaurs, how they live and how they die. Here's my dinosaur, the archosaur. Th this, is, this is the version of the dinosaur, how it lived, but then... Extinct. Any questions? Well, I have a question. Yes, Greg, what is it? How did the dinosaurs become extinct? It was a comet, Greg. The comet hit the dinosaurs, and that's why they became extinct. Oh, I forgot about that. Excuse us, Mr. Huff. We we're janitors, and we, and we want to know where we can take this shark. Ugh, just, take him to the, just take him to the assistant principal's office. Oh, thanks. You're the best, Mr. Huff. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right, class. Do you want to know why I have this huge stack of paper right here? Well, it's because you're gonna do you're gonna draw your own dinosaur and how they be and and draw a picture about the the dinosaur living and the dinosaur becoming extinct. Every every picture gets an A or B if you if you do well on them. So I'm gonna pass out your papers. Oh, and by the way, you have to choose a partner to do that. And if you don't have a partner, well, you're 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 pretty much screwed and done for, and you're probably gonna have to do it yourself. Well, I'm pretty much lucky because I found I found the perfect partner, Rally Jefferson. <laughs> Why, thank you, Greg. You're the best friend ever, and you're the best friend too. Wow, what a perfect friendship. Here you go. Thanks. And here's a piece of paper for you, Roderick. Oh man, I don't have any friends. When Roderick got home from school... It was really nice to meet you, Tom and Fred. Okay, you too. Bye. <sighs> hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Roderick. How was school? It was horrible, Dad. We have a partner project about dinosaurs, and the teacher told me to pick a partner, but I don't have any partners. Well, Roderick, the reason why you, you don't have any f friends or partners is because you always do bad stuff. Oh, well, I guess you're right. I guess I always do bad stuff. Well, Roderick, if you want some friends, you just got to make some friends. Make some friends? Yes, make some friends. Okay, Dad. Good. Two minutes later, and done. <sighs> Dad said I'm going to make my own friends. Well, I just made my own friend. Her name is Emily. But I wish she was real. Well, I am real. Emily, you're real? Of course I'm real, Roderick. You just made me. Without saying any magic words like hocus pocus or abracadabra? Oh, who needs magic words when you have your imagination? Okay, Emily. Say, do you want to be my best friend? Of course I do want to be your best friend. Forever and ever. Just you and me. Okay, Emily. Well, I'm just going to put that, put that drawing away. And plus, you can help me with my partner project about dinosaurs. I am your partner project, Roderick. Just use me. But it's about dinosaurs. That's okay, I can just transform into a dinosaur. Watch. Roar! I'm an Emily Rex. Wow, but you're an archosaur. I know, because I like you. Thanks. Your transformation is such a good idea, Emily. Thank you. Do you want do you want me to show do you want me to show you my dad? Yeah, let's go see him. Okay, let's go, Emily. Hey dad, do you wanna see do you wanna see my friend? Sure. Her name is Emily. Say hi say hi Emily. Hey there hey there, Mr. Roderick's dad. I'm Emily. See? Roderick, who are you talking to? There's no one there. I'm talking to Emily. Hey Emily, tell my dad a joke. <laughs> that is so funny. <sighs> Roderick, there's no one there. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Emily. He's, she's taller than me, and she's a girl. Roderick, there is no Emily. Yes, there is an Emily. She is right here. She's taller than me, and she's a girl. 
Roderick, you sound insane right now. What are you talking about? You know what, Roderick? I'm calling the doctor because you sound crazy. Aww. Emily, you are right here. Your dad is crazy. Your dad is so silly. But my dad couldn't even see you, Emily. I don't know. Maybe he needs glasses. Maybe, Emily. Maybe. Three minutes later... Hello, I am Dr. Peter. And I'm Dr. Jason. We're at your service. Anyways, what seems to be the problem? Alright, Dr. Peter and Dr. Jason. I... My, so my son, Roderick, is talking to someone, and he says she's right here, but there's no one there. So he sounds insane. Show him, show them, Roderick. Well, doctors, I have a best friend named Emily. Yeah, and Emily is right here, but my dad says she can't, but my dad says he can't see her. So I think my dad needs glasses. See what I'm talking about, doctors? Okay, well... We know what's going on here. Your son just has an imaginary friend. An imaginary friend? Are those even real things? Oh, yeah, but I have a real friend. Dr. Jason. I am Dr. Peter. Yeah, I used to have an imaginary friend when I was in elementary school. Yeah, me too. Having imaginary friends was my dream come true. Wait a minute. So, imaginary friends are normal? Oh, they're normal, all right. Yeah, and Roderick will probably grow out of it eventually. Can't Roderick uh, get rid of it or anything? No, it should go away on its own. All right, so, okay, me and Doc, me and Doctor Jason are gonna go now. See you. Bye, doctors. All right, Roderick. So the doctor said it's completely normal to have for you to have an imaginary friend or whatever you have right here. But Emily's not imaginary, she's real. Well, she's not real and she's not there. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna go make dinner, okay, Roderick? But she's right here. You see that, Dad? I mean, you see that, Roderick? Your dad tried to get rid of me. Actually, Dad said he wanted me to get rid of you. Oh, oh, that, oh, yeah, that. But do you know what we should do? What? We should get rid of him. Get rid of him? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Or maybe we could play hide and seek. After we get rid of him. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, let's just go to the dinner table. Okay. All right, Roger. Look what's for dinner. A, pl a plate of Salisbury steak. I even, let I even made another Salisbury steak for your imaginary friend. Man, I hate Salisbury steak. Me too, Emily. You know, Roderick, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm starting to not like your dad. It would be better if, if your dad was gone. What? But I like my dad. Well, I don't. <laughs> but we're still friends. Yeah, yeah, we are. Throw this plate of Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes at him. Throw this plate of mashed, throw this plate on him? I mean, Yeah. Usually, I throw my Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes on the floor. No, throw it at him. <laughs> okay. Ah, <sighs> Roderick's so stupid. Roderick! What? Why'd you throw your plate of Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes at me, Roderick? Emily told me to do it. You, you are, you are sick in the head, Roderick. There's no such, there, there's no, there's no such thing as someone called Emily. You're just making it up, Roderick. But, 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 but it was Emily. You know what, Roderick? You're grounded. You're grounded. Come on, me. You're grounded. Aww. That's it, Roderick. You're grounded. You're not allowed to do anything but go to school, come home, go to your room, and then go to school, okay? Oh, but it's not my fault. It was Emily. Roderick, there's no such thing as someone called Emily. You just made that person up so that you can do bad stuff. You're grounded. Aww. Now look what you did, Emily. You got me in trouble. Huh? I was only trying to to protect our friendship, Roderick. Remember, we're best friends forever. And ever. Okay. Well, we still have to go. To sc we have to go to bed because we have to go. We have to go to school tomorrow. Okay. Come on. <sighs> tomorrow at school. All right, Emily, the teacher is coming, so transform into a dinosaur. Got it. Okay, transformed into a dinosaur. 
That's good. <gasps> the teacher is coming. Act natural. All right, class. I hope I, I hope you got your I, I hope you got your projects for partner projects for the dino about dinosaurs. And if you do not have one, you get an F. Okay, so I'll go check. All right, Greg and Rally, you you two go first. So, did you draw the, the partner project the, the exact same way we talked about? Yep, it was about... Okay, see this? That's a T-Rex right here. I drew it, the living part. And I drew the extinct part. Wow, good job, Greg and Rally. You get an A+. Plus. Yes! We're gonna get an A+, plus on, on our project, Roderick. Yeah, I know. Alright, Roderick, where's your project? Oh, well, it's right next to me. I na I made an Emily. Say I say hi, Emily. He said hi because he transformed into a dinosaur and he pretended to be ex and she pretended to be extinct. Where is it? I don't see it. I just told you Emily the dinosaur pretended to be extinct. I don't believe you. And you know what that means. What does that mean? Does that mean that I get an A plus since Emily pretended to be extinct because she's not there? No, you failed. You get an F. What? What? You got an F, Roderick? Yeah, and now my dad's going to ground me even longer because I failed. No, he's not. You want to know why? Why? Because we're going to lie to him. Lie to my dad? Yeah. But first, we have to get rid of the teacher. Okay. Punch him in the face. But I'll get in trouble. Do it. <laughs> okay, class. I hope you all, all enjoyed on working your partner project. Wait, no. Don't punch the teacher. But you told me to. Actually, throw him. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Oh no! Roderick has has some super strength. Is the teacher gonna be okay? Wow, I'm very impressed. Good job, Roderick. The teacher will never give you enough again. If you say so. Two hours later. Hey dad, I got arrested at school today. Roderick, you got arrested at school? Yep, he assaulted his teacher by throwing by throwing him with his bare hands. He has awesome strength. Plus, the teacher is pressing charges. Roger, why would you throw your teacher? It wasn't me, Dad. It was Emily. He told... She told me to do it. Well, just because... Just because your imaginary friend tells you to do something doesn't act... Doesn't really mean you have to do it. But she might not be my friend anymore if I don't do it. Wow, that's kind of like a red flag. Maybe we should arrest Emily, too. Yeah, we should. All right. Where are you at? Where? Where are you at? All right, there you are. You are under arrest. Ow, ow. She, she punched me in the face. Ow, ow, stop it. Ow, ow. Stop, don't you. Ow, ow. Pemberton, hello. She's right here. You're both coming with me, Roderick and Emily. Oh, no. When Roderick and Emily got out of jail... Alright, Dad. Your, Rod, your son and his imaginary friend are free. Bye. So, Roderick and Emily, Roderick's imaginary friend, did you both learn your lesson? Yep, I sure did. Uh, yeah, me too. <sighs> wow, I just can't believe I got arrested for throwing my teacher and the teacher pressed charges. But I'll still do bad stuff. Oh, I hope not. Don't worry, it's not... The bad stuff I'm gonna do in the future is not gonna be illegal. Oh, I hope they're not illegal. But you kids, you kids at least learned your lesson. You're not gonna throw your teacher or throw your food at me. But I'm, I'm probably still gonna throw my food back on the floor. Oh, I hope not. Okay, I'm gonna make your dinner and make sure... And it's not gonna be Salisbury steak. Cool.